Alright, I'm back with another Zenetsu guide. And, um, reason why is because after labbing him some more, you know, I find I found out some new shit. Some new combos. Uh, better routes. More damage and such. So, uh, let's get right into it. So, to start off with, right, I don't think Zenetsu is a uh, character that you want to uh, prioritize going first with. So what I mean by that is, uh, if you want to use him, he should be, uh, <clears throat> your backup character first. So, uh, if you wanted to pick, like, a Nezuko, uh, Zenetsu team, you would pick Nezuko first, and then support is Zenetsu. So, um, reason I say that, right, is because he's very, uh, bar hungry, like, he, he... He wants to drain all your resources for these fucking combos, right? So that's what I recommend right off rip. And uh, another thing that goes against my last video that I did on Zenetsu is that, um, yeah, the fact that he's bar hungry. So usually I like to use like two to three bars on my characters for combos, right? And just save a couple. But when you use Zenetsu, you want to throw that right out the window and use everything, right? And, uh... Once I start doing the combos, you'll see why. Um, so let's just start off. So, let's go. Just like the last video, right? You know, the, the prime and the flicker. You're going to be doing that a lot, so just be prepared. But for this combo route, you will be doing this. So that's the simple version for 46 simple right you don't really have to do anything crazy all you're doing is um you're doing an auto combo until you see like the three slashes right here so off those five hits right there oh i fucked that up my bad let me restart right there so after he does that little barrage of slashes you want to go into prime and then uh air spin and after you do that, it will look something like this. So yeah, after you hit the prime into air spin, you want to dash at your opponent, right? Do a auto combo in the air. Complete the auto combo so it's going to look like this. And then after you complete the auto combo, you want to just go into prime and then air spin again. And then you dash again and complete it. So it's eh, not difficult at all. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that you need to just wait after he does the little barrage of slashes and then you go in for your prime and then air spin. So once more, let me show you the combo and then we'll move on. So that's the simple version, 46, 100. So let's move on to the next one that's a little harder. <clears throat> so just like the last combo, we'll be using all our bars, but this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, right? And the uh, timing on a couple things are going to be a little bit more strict. You're going to have, and you're going to need some fast fingers, all right? I'm going to be honest. So the combo is going to look something like this. Same starter, you know, wait until the barrage slashes. But, in the middle of the combo, it's going to switch up, so it's going to look something like this. And, uh, yeah. That's how it's going to look. So, um, that is half health right there. And Murata, Murata is a uh, character that has average uh defense so it's you know not below average so any uh the only character that is going to receive less damage is urokodaki and he's the only character that will receive less damage because he has the highest uh defense in the game everyone else is going to get hit with the 56 or even more if they're like a, a rangoku uh Shinobu, Hinokami, Tanjiro, anybody with less defense than that uh, one point multiplier is going to receive more damage. Where that combo deviates from the uh, last one is that 
if you guys saw, I had to do a dash into dodge into another dash mid combo. So let me do it again. So as you saw there, like while he was in the air, I had to do two dashes. So let me see if I can just pull it off right here. Yeah. So you see how I dash into him, then I dodge mid-air and dash into him again? You're doing that so that um, when you air combo into prime, he hits, uh, Zanetsu hits the floor. Because if you do it any later, he just primes in the air and you can't really combo after that. That's gonna end it. So, um, to do that, right, this is the part where it's gonna take a little bit of practice. Once you do the air combo, you need to, uh, let Zenetsu touch the floor, like so, right? And then after prime, you wanna dash in while Murata or whatever the character is that you're comboing on is still in the air. They still have to be in the air. So what it's gonna look like is something like this. Dash, dodge, and then dash again. It's gonna take a little practice, but it's just, it's pretty simple. You just dash, dodge, dash. It's really simple. So that's the only part of the combo that's gonna be hard. So once again, let me show you. Just like that. And, um, like I said, you're gonna need all your bars for it. So, uh, let me try to just say the combo. It's a lot to remember, so let me see. Uh, it's just three autos, right? Into prime airspin. You dash. You do the full, um, auto combo in the air. Then you go into Prime. Once that Prime connects, you dash, and then you dodge mid-air, and dash again. After that little hard shit, right, you want to do Auto Combo into Prime, and then dash without hitting the opponent and just straight into Prime. Like I said, it's a lot to remember, but I'm pretty sure I said it right. So, once again, let me just show you the combo, and then we'll move on. If you need help with anything, just rewind the video. You'll get the hang of it. Okay, and sometimes it may fuck up like that, so let's try that again. Just like that. Now, moving on, this is going to be a little harder, right? Because this one, it actually involves some delaying, and uh, you will see where the delays are at. So, that's the combo. If that, that one does 60% uh, basic. Um, and it also has, you have to start it off with a jumping attack. So, it's pretty much the same as the last combo, but the starter is different. So, you're just starting from a, uh, jumping attack into prime, you do the air spin. And if you watch the, uh, if you rewatch the combo that I just did, right, you can see that after I do prime, oh, not like that. You can see after I do the air attack prime and then air spin that I delay my dash. Because if you don't delay it, it will end up looking something like this. And then from here, you won't be able to do a dash to him while he's in the air still. So you need to delay that first dash off the air spin. So Zanetsu will be able to recover. And be able to dash again after the second prime. So once again, the combo is going to look like this. And it also does include the little... Shit from the last combo. It's gonna have the dash, mid-air, dodge, and then dash again. So let me show you it once more. 
So the combo's gonna look like that. It's pretty difficult. The timing is very strict. Um, you might end up missing the last uh, prime, but uh, even if you miss it, right? I'm pretty sure the damage is 5,300. So I mean, you're still hitting over half. But yeah, this one's gonna take a little bit of practice. You're gonna have to, like I said before, delay the. Uh, dash after that air spin so right here is oh i killed him but anyway after the air spin you need to delay your dash just don't spam dash right away you need to delay it. that's the only way the combo will work and um now let me get into what i was talking about before uh, as you can see these combos use all your uh meter right so let me just use everything really quick as you can see, like I have no bars left, but the way Zenetsu should be played, in my opinion, right, is that once you use all these bars in the combo, right, you can call in your assists, or maybe you already have, but just try to call in, you know, both of your assists, right? And then after you run out of all your resources, right, you can just boost. Just boost and get everything back. So, now I'm back at full meter. My assist gauge is at a hundred percent and now I'm ready to combo again right and then keep an eye on the bottom left because as soon as your boost is about to run out right you can just surge right at the end of it right and then your all your gauge from your assist and your meters they're all gonna be refilled again so you get basically two free chances off boost and surge just to refill all your resources so just to show again right just use everything look you can even use the boost while your assist is already out there and you'll get her back for whoever your assist is right so i'm gonna just use everything again okay can i just there we go right then as soon as boost is about to run out, you just surge and you get everything back again. So, I would say that, in my opinion, I think he is a he's a great character, right? I would say that he stopped here. But um, the way he should be played, in my opinion, is that uh, he should be played as an, an assist first. So when you start off the match, you want to be starting on a different character. You shouldn't be starting on Zenitsu. So, um... Uh... Yeah, so like, say if you're running whoever the assist is, or whoever your second character is, um, you should main that one for the first round, build meter with that first uh, character, so build up your boost, your surge, and your level 3s or whatever, and by the second round, hopefully you will have like a bar, or maybe even two if the opponent is, you know, keeping up with you, putting up a good fight, then maybe you'll have a second bar by the second round. And then once that happens, feel free to switch into Zenetsu because he's going to be the one using all your meter, uh, all your bar, going in the boost, going in a surge, using alts. He's going to be the one that's draining all your resources. So the other character should be the one gaining them back. And just to show you uh, the damage in uh, boost, I'm just going to I'm going to do all three combos that I showed, and just I'm going to show their damage in the uh, boost mode. So, I'm gonna just do those real quick. And the last combo, what do you know, does 69. Interesting number. But that's pretty much the, uh, if you're looking for harder combos, well, there you go. Those are three harder combos from anything that I did in the last video. And as I said before, 
disregard what I said about only using two to three bars. Because the net two, he's bar hungry, man. He wants to use everything. And that's how I think he should be played. He's a top tier character. Crazy ass damage. And if you pair him with someone like Nezuko, then, it, you know, that's just a great team. That's a sweat team, to be honest. And this is the team that I'm actually going to be using in ranked. So just look out for that gameplay. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.